What is up, Buff Riders? KG, Rough to be Buff TV. We're back with another exercise tutorial today. And today we are looking at 11 Swiss ball exercises. So the first exercise, without further ado, is the hamstring curl. When you are doing the hamstring curl, the whole goal is to one, isolate the hamstring. So make sure to keep those hips in extension, your glutes are firing. You wanna make a nice straight line from your shoulder, from your hips, all the way to your knees. Those should stay in alignment as you curl the ball with your feet in and out. Sets of 10. The next exercise we have here is the ball bridge. So make sure that the soles of your feet, the arches of your feet match the curvature of the ball. You wanna make sure to tuck those hips First, you are lifting off the tailbone and every vertebrae will follow after that. So tailbone has to lift off first and it also has to set down last on the way up. So you can see them. Tailbone first, we're getting good extension and then tailbone last. It's as if you were to peel a sticker or set down a sticker. You'd want that to be flat with no bubbles. Make sure that lower back is flat. This is the two-legged ball bridge. Next, we have a progression of the hamstring curl. Okay, this is a two in, one out. So you can see I'm resetting that foot. I'm pulling in the Swiss ball with two feet, taking one foot off of the ball, and then slowly going into extension with the leg that is still on the ball. This is a progression of the first exercise. If this is not doable, just stick with the original hamstring curl. This is an advanced exercise, also an awesome exercise to build up endurance in those hamstrings. Now we have a progression of the two leg bridge. We are doing a one legged ball bridge. Now still, we do not want to be extending and feeling this in our lower back. So the biggest thing I can't stress enough is make sure to lift off with that tailbone first and set down with that tailbone last. You should not, I repeat, not feel this in your lower lumbar back. This is all back of hamstring, a little bit of hip and glute. Next is the Swiss ball hyperextension. So what you wanna do is you wanna get the crease of your hips at the apex of the ball. Get a nice good wide base with those hands and then go into hip extension without using any lower back. Once again, this is a glute exercise. This is a bun burner. I like to do this anywhere from 10 upwards of 30 reps. All of these exercises you guys do today, do them based on your fatigue level. Take them to almost mechanical failure and then stop. This is the Swiss ball reverse hyper. The next exercise is going to challenge your core. So we are taking a look at some stir the pots and some body saws. Basically what we're doing is we're getting into a forearm plank on the ball. Be sure to keep those hips tucked, protect your lower back and keep a nice good engagement in the hips and glutes. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width or about a hip width. It's really dependent on what your level of stability is. So you, as you can see, I'm rotating in different directions. Now I'm going into some body saws. So when you stir in circular motions, those are stir the pots. When you go out and in, those are called body saws. So it's good to mix it up. I like to do this for time until that core is aching and burning. Body saws and some stir the pots. Moving right into the next exercise, we have ball push-ups. So you can see I have some external rotation in those palms. You wanna be squeezing that ball as if you're trying to, to pop that ball. Make sure that you have good grip on the ball here. If it's slippery, um, it could be a little dangerous, but if you got push-ups down, this is also a fun variation to help build upper body strength. Swiss ball push-ups. The next exercise we have here are Swiss ball pikes, okay? So the whole goal here is to act as if you had a puppet string and it was attached to your tailbone. And that puppet string is going to pull your tailbone to the roof. 
be sure to keep your toes pointed. I see a lot of people box their feet up and that makes the exercise look very blocky. It should look nice and smooth. You're just trying to stack those hips over your shoulders as best as possible. Have that puppet string pull your waist and your tailbone to the roof and make sure to keep those toes pointed and pushed into the Swiss ball as you go through your repetitions. Moving into another core exercise, we have the ball pass off. So you can see I'm keeping my lower back flat. We don't wanna create a highway or a tunnel with that lower back. We wanna keep that lower back as flat as possible. I do like to keep the head off the ground and the chin tucked. I feel like that adds a little bit more tension to my midsection. We are just exchanging that ball at the midline of our body and trying to touch down at the same time. So you can see when we go into extension, I want my thumbs and the ball to touch at the same time and come up at the same time and then the ball and my heels to touch at the same time. This is an awesome, awesome exercise for anybody at any level. Full body balance, hamstrings, back, shoulders. That's the muscle groups we're taking a look at here. So we have the Romanian overhead deadlift, okay? So we're going into overhead extension and basically hinging in those hips. This is a hip hinging movement go slow pay attention to what the bottoms of your feet are telling you those are going to tell you a story of what adjustments you need to make on this movement so as you're going into your hinge pattern getting a good stretch on that hamstring you are overhead reaching with that swiss ball getting good extension trying to reach that ball out and up as you stabilize and stay still at the bottom of this movement Finishing up with some overhead squats, you can pick your squat base, whatever feels comfortable for, for you. All you're doing is getting into nice, good, high overhead reach and then getting into a nice, good deep squat. Do some pauses, do some bounces, do some pulses, do some holds, whatever works for you, stick with it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am KG, this is Rough To Be Buff TV. If you learned anything new today, please drop me a like. And if you're new around here, subscribe. Fresh content on my channel every week. I will see you guys next time. Peace.